In this video, I'm going to do an example of how to draw a color-coded system schema diagram and free body diagrams for each of the objects involved in the situation. Our situation is going to be at the surface of the earth, a table with a cup of hot chocolate. So our objects in our system schema are going to be the cup, the table, and normally we would have included the earth and the ground as two different objects. Because the earth and the ground really are connected together and it's going to be, make more sense when drawing a free body diagram of the earth and the ground to have them as one object, we're going to include them as one object on our system schema. So you can feel free to do that in, in the future whenever the ground or the surface is connected to the earth, you can include those as, as one object. So, to now draw our interactions. There is a gravitational interaction between the cup and the earth and the table and the earth. Now there's a, the table is resting on the ground, so the ground must be supporting the table with a normal force and there is contact between the cup and the table, so that's two surfaces in contact that are pressed together, and that is another normal force. But this is all of the interactions. Now what I'm going to do is color code each interaction, a different color. Now we're ready to draw a free body diagram for each of these objects. So the cup is going to be here, and the table, and the earth, ground combination. So I need a dot to represent each object. I'm going to start with the free body diagram for the cup, and what I'm going to do is when I draw one force, after I draw that force that's on the cup, I'm going to go ahead and draw the other force that's part of that interaction force pair. So I'm first going to draw the force of gravity on the cup, but then I'm going to draw the other force that's part of that interaction force pair, and I'm going to draw the force of gravity of the cup pulling on the earth. So let's start with the force of gravity so this is the force of the Earth on the cup, that is a gravitational force. Now the other force that's part of that interaction force pair is a gravitational force of the cup pulling up on the Earth. Well that's going to go on the diagram of the Earth. It has equal length, equal magnitude, these forces are the same size, but opposite in direction. And then we will color code them, that is the pink force and be sure to label it. So this is the force of the cup on the earth, and this is a gravitational force. Usually if you were to drop a cup, you would notice the cup accelerating towards the earth, but we, you would not notice the earth accelerating towards the cup. And that's just because the mass of the earth is so tremendously large that you don't notice the acceleration. It's not measurable. It's just so small. Now back to the free body diagram of the cup, we have drawn the force of the earth on the cup. There's one more force on the cup, and that is the force of the table on the cup. And that's an upward force. And because the forces on the cup are balanced, I know they're balanced because the cup is not accelerating up and down, this force has the same magnitude as this force. And that is the force of the table on the cup and that is a normal force. And let's color code that. Now where's the other force that's part of this interaction? Well, this force was the force of the table on the cup. The other part of that interaction is a force of the cup on the table. The cup is pushing down on the table. And so the force, once again, interaction forces always have the same magnitude. So this has the same length as this. And that's color-coded green. And labeling it, that is the force 
of the cup on the table. So now we've finished the free body diagram for the cup because I can see there are two forces on the cup and I have both of those forces on the free body diagram. And you'll notice that the interaction force pairs do not show up on the same force diagram. The other pink force was over here and the other green force was over here. Okay, so let's do the free body diagram now for the table. We already have drawn the interaction between the cup and the table on the free body diagram. Let's draw the force of gravity. So I'm thinking about how long to make the arrow for the force of gravity. I'm going to make it longer than the force of gravity that was on the cup because I think the table would have more mass. I'm sure it would have more than twice the mass, but to make it fit well on the paper, here we go. So this is the force of the Earth on the table, and that is a gravitational force. And where is the other force that's part of this interaction force pair? Well, we've already drawn the force of gravity on the table, so there must be a force of gravity of the table on the Earth. The table's pulling upward on the Earth. So force of gravity, so we have force of the Earth, pardon me, force of the table, on the Earth, and that is a gravitational force. So these are the two forces that are part of the interaction, gravitational interaction, of the table and the Earth. And on the table we have one more force. That's an interaction between the table and the ground. So it's a normal force. The ground is pushing upward on the table. So how much does the ground push upward on the table? Well, it has to balance the downward forces, so it's going to be equal in length to this one plus this one. So about that long. And that is the force of the ground on the table. Now where is the other force that's part of that interaction? This is the force of the ground on the table. So the other force is the force of the table on the ground. The table is pushing downward on the ground with an equal amount to the amount that the force was ground was pushing up on the table. So this is the force of the table on the ground. And that is also a normal force and these forces were blue. So that's an example of how to draw a color-coded system schema diagram where each interaction is a different color. And then on the free body diagrams, we can see where the different forces are that are part of each interaction force pair. And you'll notice that they're always on different free body diagrams because the two parts of an interaction act on different objects.